What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Al Kicks, a.k.a. the U Wild General. And today we got a new sneaker, man. A new iteration of the Air Max Plus. The Air Max Plus Drift. I've been waiting on these, seen a lot of images of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get that bad boy out the box. Uh-oh. Woo-wee. Boom. Yes, sir. And the colors on these are crazy. And it already, from the first time touching it, they feel very, very heavy. If you want these, you can go ahead and purchase them at your local Foot Locker. They do have other colorways, but this is the one that I was specifically checking for because it had that nice rainbow gradient reminding me of a lot of other Air Max. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the label. And it's, it's just gonna come in a regular orange box, nothing special about that, you know? And the label reads, Air Max Plus Drift, and the colorway is light smoke gray and black. And these are a size 10, so they're my size, and they retail for a hefty 185. So they are like 198, 199 walking out of the door. That is a pretty steep price tag, but these feel like a boot. And most likely, they will go on sale. So I'll let you guys see that label right quick. There we go. So the shoes, man, these right here are crazy. Let's take a closer look at them. All right, guys. So we have these squared up right here, starting with the materials. You see it has that light smoke gray rubber. Like I said, these feel very, very heavy they feel heavier than normal air max plus but the beautiful thing is this gradient starting right here going from red to orange fading into blue and their blue blends real good with that translucent outsole one change one noticeable change it's supposed to be a shank plate right there which is the whale's tail that's what this was modeled after so i have another one right here the icon flip colorway and you can see how they kind of changed the materials but you look at both of these outsoles see this has this plastic and this right here on the bottom it's rubber it feels durable like you can wear these in the snow maybe it could be snowboarding drift it could be some type of connection there. Translucent outsole. And a quick cool fun fact. Now the outsole is supposed to spell out the word air. Now Sean McDowell had that had to incorporate that. It's hard to see it on this pair, but it's supposed to be right here in the middle. This is supposed to be an eye. That's supposed to be the dot, but we'll use the other pair to really illustrate it. So uh, while well, we got it. All right, this is the I right there. A, R. And that's the dot for the I. So that's air right there at the bottom. Nice quick history lesson. This upper is nice and meshy. It's meshy to the touch. And the palm trees are rubber. And the shank is rubber, like I said earlier. Tuned air pack right here. On the heel, tuned air again on the heel of the shoe. Light smoke gray mesh for the sock liner. Classic TN element logo on the mesh insole. On the tongue, have another TN badge right there in gray with some soft new buck material on the tongue. That should make these real comfortable. And the lace pattern on here is different. You have the speed lacing and you have the traditional out lacing, which is definitely different from the traditional Air Max Plus that just has the lacing like that. These are nice. These are very nice. So get in the comments, man. 
Tell me what y'all think about these. There are other colorways that I do want to grab. But this first colorway to me really kind of took the cake. But there's a crimson colorway that has a whole lot going on. And I need that in the collection. Yeah, that grading is just, put it in the light, man. That grading is just beautiful. I like that swoosh right here on the heel too. That is different. It doesn't have the swoosh like you normally see on the side of Air Max Plus. This time the swoosh has been moved to the heel. And it's hard, man. It's like three dimensional. Very, very nice shoes. But enough talking about these bad boys. Y'all know what we do around this time. Kicks get rocked every day around here, B. Let's get these bad boys on feet and let's take them to the streets. Now, guys, as far as the fit, I definitely suggest going true to size. They do run true to size and they feel like a boot. These actually feel like an Air Max Plus sneaker boot. They are slightly heavier. I think these will look good with baggy sweatpants or jeans. You guys know how to dress this stuff up, but it feels very rugged. It feels very street, a nice, good, new, fresh take on the Air Max Plus, man. I am looking forward to other colorways of this shoe. I'm excited about it. Um, there's that first colorway with that gum bottom that I need, but this is my favorite colorway of the shoe so far, man. That rainbow gradient is just undefeated, man. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about these. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Whatever. Just let me know. And give this video a thumbs up, guys. We got to get the algorithm back going. Let's get it back going. Let's get it back popping. I know there's a lot of exciting releases. The KD4s. The um, Bread 4s drop tomorrow. I will have a video on that. This video may come out tomorrow with the Bread 4 video. But just be on the lookout. And that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. You know the motto. I'm wild. You wild. We all wild, baby. Stay fly. Stay fresh. But most importantly, stay safe. It's your boy, Big Al Kicks. Sign on out of here. Peace.